Father of God, who is the head of my life, I just gotta say thank you, Charlotte. When I first got to the tune, she said, I don't really sing like that, but I'll never forget the time I first heard her sing, and I said, nope, you gotta sing. <laughs> 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 As I said, first give honor to God with the head of my life, to the pastor, the pulpit, to my wife and director, and everyone in their respectable places. Amen. And I promise you, I ain't come to trouble you alone. <laughs> if you was happy, Bible, please turn with me to Psalm 18, the second verse. Psalm 18, we're just going to read the second verse. When you got it, I want you to say amen. If you need a little bit more time, say amen. Amen. Wait. <laughs> and I ask all who can please stand. Oh yeah, if you can't find this on the final program. Amen. Let's do this. Psalms 18, the second verse, and it reads, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for bringing us to the house just one more time right now, Heavenly Father. But Father God, I ask for you to show up and show up right now, Heavenly Father. Father God, I pray that you touch me right now, Father God, that you will increase and I decrease, Father God. That you will use me as a vessel unto your people, Heavenly Father. I will be a shepherd unto your flock. So Father God, we just pray that you have your way right now. This we ask in your name, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. All right, where is it? My subject today is called the Jesus Foundation. All right. Let me tell you why. Whenever you start to build some type of structure, you need a solid foundation. Your foundation of life should be strong, solid, and unmovable. If you have a rocky or uneven foundation, I recommend Jesus. The Jesus recommend the Jesus foundation is the best ground you can ever have. I would like to touch on three key points about the Jesus Foundation. The first is strength. Jesus is the strongest foundation around. Having Jesus as your foundation means he can support you and all of your troubles and your burdens. Where we would crack under pressure, Jesus won't. Geologists say the diamond is the strongest rock in the world, but I believe Jesus is a thousand times strong. Nothing can break, fracture, scratch, or move the Jesus Foundation. Which leads me to my second point, mm -hmm. sturdy, sturdiness. The Jesus Foundation is perfectly sturdy and cannot be moved. In our life, we're going to go through some storms. Mm -hmm. uh, but no matter how hard the storms of life may be, come on, boy. the Jesus Foundation shall not be moved. Mm -hmm. uh, the sturdiness of this foundation <clears throat> has no rivals. Mm -hmm. The Jesus Foundation cannot be beat. Mm -hmm. The rain may pour, the land may flood, the winds may blow, the earth may quake, and the mountains may shake. But Jesus' foundation still will not be moved. Uh -huh. Which leads me to my third and final point, everlasting. Mm -hmm. The Jesus' foundation has a lifetime guarantee that lasts from generations to generations. Mm -hmm. It has no inspiration for us. The Jesus' foundation is always reusable and can be passed down to anyone who wants it. Mm -hmm. The Jesus' foundation can last all the way through the end of time and even after that. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. The foundation will still be standing there strong. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go back to my Bible real quick. Because in 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter, the third and, fourth, third and fourth verse tells us, The God of my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, the stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is ready to be praised. Mm -hmm. And after reading those verses, it again tells us, we all need a solid foundation in our lives. And you can't get more solid than Jesus Christ. Again, I say, whenever you start to build anything, you have to have a starting point or a foundation. And your foundation is the start of everything. If you don't have a strong foundation, your building will not be able to stand. It will not meet certain requirements. Well, we're just like the building. If we don't have a solid foundation, we won't be able to stand, and we won't meet the same requirements to get into heaven. But finding the solid foundation ain't hard at all. Matter of fact, I don't mind to tell you or give you who is my solid foundation. 
My solid foundation is Jesus. Uh -huh. Can I say that one more time? Go ahead. My solid foundation <laughs> is Jesus. Jesus. Let me tell you about my foundation. First of all, my foundation never leaves my side. Uh -huh. yeah, my solid rock on I stand above the ground is sinking sand. Uh -huh. God is with me everywhere I go. Uh -huh. I'm not able to keep my head above the water. Uh -huh. you know, I'm in hot water. Uh -huh. All right? No matter how the wind blows and how my foundation will not be moved. Uh -huh. No matter how the rain may fall, how the world may seem, nothing can wear down my foundation. You can stand tall and face anything the devil will try to throw your way. Yeah, come on. I tell y'all a little secret. Go ahead. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> the foundation you have down here mm. is also the foundation up in heaven. Mm -hmm. Let me explain that. Okay. While you're down here working, you collecting wood for your mansion. Mm. So when you get Jesus as your foundation, mm -hmm. he set the foundation for your mansion up there in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything starts with a good foundation. Mm -hmm. Right. It has to be solid, strong, and unmovable. Church, can I be honest with you for a little while? Come on. I truly do believe I have a solid foundation. Because right. even though I may be young, I've been through some troubling times. Come on, boy. And it's not even things that happen to me, but it's happened to the people that I know and I love from my heart and years. And I have and I have had to be a solid foundation unto those people. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to see me as Jesus, but I just want them to see me as a shoulder right. they can lean on. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And I just I just thank God, because like I said, he never left my side. Mm -hmm. Whenever right. the Lord is with me and I go wherever I go, he'll be with you too. Because yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's been times in my life where I don't have to pray. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pray at an early age. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pray for a loved one. I had to pray for my family members. I had to pray for people in my church. Ever since I know how to pray, I asked my daddy. I mean, I, I prayed to my father to bring my daddy home so I could spend more time with him. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, about a good old two years ago, he right down the road in Georgia, and I say thank you every time I think about it. Yeah. I know sometimes we may not see eye to eye, but I'm just I'm just thankful for it because he truly does answer prayers. Amen. Because my solid foundation. It's my solid rock. Amen. And he just stays with me everywhere I go. Uh -huh. And I just thank him because I have to take him to some dark and terrible places in my life. Ooh. I'm not sure about y'all, but Ooh. Ooh. it gets hard sometimes. Yeah. 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 It gets so hard. Yeah. Yes, and I know we fall short of the glory, but I just thank God for being my foundation. Yeah. You know how I said it's everlasting? It's also the time. No matter where I step, he still will be right there. Come on. Come on. All right. Lord. Yes. Lord. When I first started writing this, I wrote it about prayer. But the Lord saw something different. But then he also allowed me to tie it together. Because I want to back up to saying how to get your solid foundation. Mm -hmm. It don't cost no money. It's just a little bit of your time. Mm -hmm. When you have a conversation with the Lord. Because mm -hmm. right. prayer is a powerful thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can move mountains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can raise the dead. Yeah. I promise you. I dare you to try it. Prayer is a powerful thing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I know I learned to pray at a young age. And I ain't always praying like I used to. But let me tell you how God works. Because if it had not been for this day right here. Mm -hmm. Creating the Monday night prayer line. I don't know what I'd be doing. All right. <laughs> Cause I don't know about y'all. I encourage y'all to get on there. Cause I feel like Matt Chapel, the Matt Chapel community, is making some things happen. Okay. Cause when we pray, we ain't just praying for ourselves and our family. Yeah. We praying for the world. Yeah. We praying for the ones who love them. Mm -hmm. We praying for the ones who will hate him and curse his name. And we definitely praying for the ones who love God and claim to know Him, but yeah. still choose to do wrong. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh. Mm. oh yes. A solid foundation. You can't get more solid than Jesus Christ. Believe it or that. You can't get more solid than Jesus Christ. A solid foundation. You're not just sticking with me. I, 
I just thank you, Lord, because that, that was nobody but you who gave me that. Mm -hmm. A solid foundation. Mm -hmm. But y'all want to know something? He also told me a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He told my mama. He told my mama's mama. Mm -hmm. He done told everybody this if you come to the church every now and then. Jesus is not just a foundation. Mm -hmm. He's everything, but mm -hmm. he's everywhere. Mm -hmm. He is the breath that we breathe. Mm -hmm. He is the sun that keeps us warm. Mm -hmm. He is a bridge over troubled waters. Mm -hmm. He is a lawyer in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. He's a doctor in the sick room. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all today, but I need me a doctor to take me right now. Because I just got word. Come on. That one of my pillars in my life, my beloved auntie, I just received word that she has cancer. And I called on this name as soon as my mama told me. But you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Because like the pastor said, in Sunday school, when you put your faith in God, you won't have to worry. Amen. 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 So I prayed for my auntie, and I am, I'm going to keep praying for her, but I'm praying for her once, and I know she's going to be all right, because Jesus is the best doctor you can have. Say that, boy. It's like he's the best solid foundation. You know? Right? You can't get no better than Jesus. He'll be food when you're hungry. Something to drink when you're thirsty. He'll give you a blanket when you're cold. He'll give you a fire when you're cold. He'll give you a shelter in a time of the storm. He'll be your battle axe mm -hmm. in the middle of a battle. Mm -hmm. I got to go past it. Let's see. But a solid foundation. No, I'm going to ask y'all this question. I ask you this. What is your foundation based on? Mm -hmm. What is your foundation based on? Mm -hmm. You can't go off of what everybody else says. You got to know it for yourself. Amen. No, let me tell y'all something. All this problems you may be having, all these heavy burdens, catching hell when you go to school, when you go to work. Mm -hmm. Have you ever stopped to think hmm, that it's not God allowing it to happen, but it's you allowing it to happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever stopped to think that if you would just give God a little bit more of your time, mm -hmm. he can make all this go away? I see him do it. I know he can do it. I'm a living witness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A solid foundation. Yes. A solid foundation. Thank you for allowing me to come up here. And Father God, thank you for giving me the word to give you. Amen. Amen. Amen.